New Life, what's up? Let's go. Welcome to church tonight, family. How you doing? You sound good. You look good. Hey, a couple things we're going to do here tonight. First, we're here to celebrate. This is an album release night 
for our new album that they recorded. How many of you were here that first Wednesday night? Just, it was electric in here. And I'll tell you that the album carries that. The album has that on it. You'll turn it on and you start crying because the presence of the Lord floods the place. You'll be driving around town. You, you got confusion and the peace of God's gonna come. This album carries that thing. And so we're here to celebrate. And the Integrity Music team has flown here from Nashville, Tennessee. Can you welcome the Integrity Music team, Gilbert and the whole team? Thank you for all you've done to help with this project. But the real reason we're here tonight is to worship the Lord and to pray. And I don't know if you realize what time of year it is, but we're coming up next week, nine days from now, Good Friday. 11 days from now, Easter Sunday, and this is a time when people who don't come to church start coming to church. This is a time when people are open to an invitation. This is a time where, you know, there's like a cultural awareness, like something happened in world history. We need to pay attention to that. And so tonight, what I want us to do as we start is to pray for salvation in this Easter season. There is a savior. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I, I want you to, some of you, we got the youth group here tonight, give it up to the student ministries team. So kids, I need your help tonight. You're, you're a little more spry than many of us. We're gonna walk around, lay hands on the chairs, like where you're seated, would you just lay hands on the chairs? We're gonna have 15 to 20,000 people here next weekend, and we're asking that every person that comes in this place is encountered by the Holy Spirit. Can you say amen tonight, church? So I want us to right now begin to just pray for salvation, for healing, for deliverance, for people's hearts to be opened. Church, intercede with me right now. There is a Savior, and Lord, we pray that as people come to this campus, as people come to our other congregations, we pray as they walk in the building, they would sense the Spirit of the living God. We pray, Lord, that you would drive out all confusion when people come into this place, they would experience the peace be still of the Holy Spirit. We pray for the sick in body to be healed in Jesus' name. Come on, church, let's pray for the activity of the Spirit. Lord, we ask that those who have been far away would come home in this Easter season. We pray for those who've been trapped in idolatry to be set free in Jesus' name. We pray for those who have lived in deep loneliness, that the lonely would be set into the family of God this Easter season. Lord, we pray for Good Friday night as people come in here and remember the death of the Son of God. We pray that the blood of Jesus would be effective to forgive sins and to heal and to renew and to restore. And Lord, have your way. And Lord, we pray for every, every hopeless person that comes in here on Easter weekend. And we pray that they would sense the resurrection power of Jesus Christ that rushes in, that changes the story. We believe that if God raised Jesus from the dead, anything is possible. And so right now, church, begin to call for salvation. Lord, we ask salvation and healing and deliverance. We pray your kingdom come and your will be done tonight. And on this Easter weekend coming up, Lord, we pray your kingdom come, your will be done in the name of Jesus Christ and all God's people said, Let's worship the Lord together. Let's continue to worship today. We serve a God that is powerful and mighty. And with everything we have in Him, in us, we should just worship and praise His holy name. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. It's the beauty of the living 
Praise the Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Yeah. All that is within me, bless his holy name, Jesus. You are the banner over this house. You are the banner over this place over our lives, over our hearts, over the situations that we've carried in here. We acknowledge your name. Let's say it, let's say that name, Jesus. That's the name, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. You, O oh Lord, keep our lamp burning. You, O oh Lord, turn our darkness into light. Glorious light, marvelous light, and we say, Jesus, come. Holy Spirit, breathe on us. Would you explode in this house, in this place? Mm. We are waiting, we are watching. Let's sing that together. And we are waiting, and we are watching. We won't move. We won't move without you, and we won't move. Anticipate, and we won't move without you, and we won't move without you. Not one step without you, God. Spirit of God, oh.
on this holy ground in this sacred space. Come and do it, Lord. Come and breathe on us. We want to encounter your Holy Spirit right here. We need you. We've got nothing without you. Absolutely nothing.
want it. That is a, I don't know if we can sing that too loud tonight. Because there is a war breaking out. And it's not just the war in the Ukraine. We're going to pray for that in a moment. I want to pray first for the war that's breaking out around you. Sometimes we can get in a situation, we pray for the war out there, we forget there's a war in here. And the greatest battle, the greatest victory you'll ever win is the war that's happening inside your own heart. And if you win that war, you'll win every other battle. You'll win every other battle if you win that one first. And so I want to take some moment tonight, I want to pray for you. Let's pray for each other. Families, businesses, health, Wherever the war is breaking out tonight, I want to pray for victory tonight. I want you to declare victory over it. And maybe you don't see how you're going to get to the solution, but I know who is the solution. I don't know how you're going to get there, but I know his name. And his name is Jesus. And the reason we say that is he's already overcome death, hell, and the grave. He's, the, by the way, the tomb is still empty tonight. The cross is still empty. And the tomb is empty tonight. So I want you just to... I want you to, if you're with your spouse, especially, if you're here, if you're a married spouse or if you're seriously dating, you can hold their hand, okay? But it better be serious. I want to pray over relationships tonight. Let's pray for each other tonight. Let's pray. Come on, intercede for one another tonight. If you're here by yourself or with some friends, begin to pray for yourself. Begin to pray for your friends. Begin to pray for those people that you know there's a, you know there is a battle going on in their lives. The Father tonight... You're the God of angel armies. And we call down your power tonight because our power is not enough. We cannot save ourselves. We cannot heal ourselves. But Lord, you can. And I'm asking tonight for the windows of heaven to be open and for your spirit to come alive in every one of us. Your Holy Spirit has already been poured out on the earth. And all we have to do tonight is welcome him. I want you to welcome the Holy Spirit. He's here among us. The person and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit is right here among us. And all you have to do is make room tonight. Make room. Say, Holy Spirit, I make room. Holy Spirit, I give you complete access, unfettered access into every corner of my heart, my mind, and my soul. And I pray in the matchless name of Jesus, in the resurrection power of Jesus, that you would do miracles in the room tonight. That miracles of restoration would happen in relationships tonight. That miracles of healing and provision would happen in the room tonight. Father, the things that we've been laboring for, the battles that we've been fighting, Lord, the hills that we've been trying to climb, I pray tonight by the power of your spirit, not by our might, not by our spirit, but by your spirit, saith the Lord. I pray that we would overcome we would overcome by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord, tonight we pray for our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine. There's the Ukrainian flag behind me. If you want to point your hand, let's pray. Let's pray for our brothers and sisters in Poland, in Slovakia, and the neighboring countries that have taken in the refugees. There's the flag right there. Let's begin to intercede. The war is not over there, and they're rebuilding their lives. Father, tonight we pray that you would overwhelm and overshadow the people of Ukraine. And we pray where the enemy is broken out in war and pestilence and violence, that the Prince of Peace would step in, that the Prince of Peace would establish his reign in all of the Ukraine. And Lord, that the forces of darkness would be pushed back and that healing and restoration and redemption and forgiveness can come back to that nation. So Lord, tonight protect the people of the Ukraine. Cause wars to cease. You are the only one that can cause wars to cease. And so, Lord, we're asking that you would cause wars to cease in Jesus' name. Come on, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand tonight. So glad you're here. We're here tonight, as Pastor Daniel said, to celebrate. But I want to say something about this album. This is, uh, I, don't, I think I get the number wrong every time I say it but I think this is like 28th album in 29 years. We've done a lot of this. So this is deep in the roots of our church history. Music, worship, songs, rhythms, lyrics come out of here. That's the anointing on this church. But there is a depth to this, these songs that I've not seen in my 15 years here. The depth 
there's a maturity. Sometimes when you hear worship songs, it's a nervous blend of activity. <laughs> Not here, but other places, you know. But there's something settled about these songs. I, here's what I, here's, I wanna say this over the, this album. I believe every word of this album. And that's the best compliment I can give it. I mean, it may be better music out there, it may be better lyrics out there, but I believe everything we sing tonight. And that's a good thing, I believe it. It's, it's deeply rooted, it's deeply rooted in Trinitarian theology. You're gonna hear Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You're gonna hear that come out of these songs. You're gonna hear scriptures come out of these songs. And so I just wanna say I'm proud of you guys for writing it. The depth, the maturity, so good. I just feel like we're maybe for the first time running at full strength. And so I wanna, I wanna just tell you about this Sunday, what's going to happen on Palm Sunday on Friday night and here at North, we're going to receive a legacy offering. Because the word the Lord gave us as a church is that it's ready for us to run full strength, not only with our worship, but with our finances. And we just prayed over the Ukraine, and I've said this to you before as a church, that when we are mortgage-free here at New Life North, it's gonna release a million dollars a year of ministry outside the walls of the church. A year, every year. And our world, listen, our world right now needs the local church to run at full strength, unencumbered and unhindered by unnecessary debt. And so we're believing for this offering will be this first step toward our church becoming unhindered and unfettered from the debt. And so would you just pray with me tonight? This is not my offering, this is our offering. It's not my church, this is our church. And I want you to just pray with me that, that, that we'll see a miraculous breakthrough. And I'm gonna encourage all of you to participate on Sunday. Bring something to walk down. Let me, tell you, let me tell you, don't miss out. Even if it's a loose change, don't miss out on the moment of solidarity. You'll regret it if you don't do it. I'm just telling you, when you walk forward with everyone else and you participate, even if it's in a small way, but when you see everyone else and you do it together, it bonds and welds the church together in a powerful way. It's a moment of solidarity among all of us. And I believe the Lord wants to do that. So let's pray for this time that we're going to have this weekend. Father in heaven, this is your church. This church was your idea. And Lord, you have given us a mission. You've shown us clearly what to do and where to go and how to do it. And Lord, we thank you that where you lead us, you will also provide for us. And we thank you that the Bible is full of stories of you leading your children into unknown places and miraculously providing for them every step of the way. That's the story of the Bible. So here we are living out our story in this land, in this place, and you've told us to go. You've told us to go out, in, out of these walls and to do work in this city, and we've taken steps of faith all along the way. And Lord, what I know to be true is that you have provided every day of the past. You've been faithful yesterday. All day today, I saw the faithfulness of the Lord in the land of the living today. So Lord, I am absolutely convinced that tomorrow and this weekend and every day in my future, we will see the faithfulness of the Lord in the land of the living. So Lord, we're asking for a miraculous provision from unusual places, unusual places that are going to give. But Lord, I thank you for the faithfulness of this people. And we thank you, Lord, for all you're about to do and we ask it in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's continue to worship tonight. Come on, people of God. Let's sing this doxology. Glory to the Father. Glory to the Son. Glory to the Spirit. Our triune God, worthy of honor tonight.
Lord tonight, Jesus. Give you glory tonight, Holy Spirit. We pray tonight as Peter prayed. We teach us how to pray. We teach us also how to abide, how to stay, how to rest, how to put roots down. To be rooted and grounded in the love of Jesus. That's what we ask tonight. Let's sing. For my way, King Breath. For my day. Here's what we sing to him tonight. I deep, yes we do. Oh, I depend on for the sun to rise, for my sea. Can you lift your hands and sing? I depend to sign of surrender. I depend. Yes, God. You.
something that the psalmist did a lot, where sometimes he would just sing things over his soul, sing them over and over and over again, I think until his soul believed it. Let's sing that tonight. That I depend on you. Let's sing it. I depend on you. Sing it till your soul believes that I depend on you. My life is not my own. I depend on you. I'm the branch and you are the vine. I depend on you.
breaks the chains. There are songs that carry us through every season of life. There are songs that we can sing no matter what we're going through. In the Old Testament, Israel had a song like that. It went like this, for the Lord, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. They sang it when David returned the ark to Jerusalem. A special beginning. They sang it at the dedication of Solomon's temple and the glory of God filled that place. And they were at their height. People were coming from other regions to say, what is going on here? They sang it when Jehoshaphat sent the singers out into battle ahead of them. They sang it in the time of war. And they sang it when they returned from exile and Ezra led this rededication of the temple. There's songs that you can sing in every season of your life. New beginnings, the highest glorious moments, the darkest battles, the return from exile. There are songs that you can sing in every season. What I'm so grateful for tonight is this team has given us 11 songs that we can sing in every season of our life. 11 of them. Not just one. You gave us 11. And I echo Pastor Brady's words, we're so grateful for you, so proud of you, so thankful for your attention to... <laughs> Listen, you know this, the, the, these are people that don't just focus on a craft, they focus on their own character and their own deep life with God. And we applaud you tonight not just for a project, we applaud you for a deep life with God from which this project flows. Amen. I want to mention just a couple people. Pastor Brady mentioned all the albums that have happened uh, come from this church. I think there's one guy on the platform who's been part of all of them. He's tucked in the back there, Mr. Matthew Valentine over here. <laughs> Writing, leading, producing, rocking the bass in the free world. You're a legend, man. You're a legend. And I'm just going to take the moment to say a word about my dear friend, John. Yeah. 
I've gotten to know John. I've been, we've, we've been friends for over 25 years, and we stood on stages in college and led worship together. We stood on stages all around the world and led worship together. This isn't a person who's interested in the show. This is a person who's hungry for the presence of God. Hungry for the presence of God. And John, we're so grateful that you've made a spacious place for this team to be formed here, for songs to arise here. The best worship leaders know how to get the song started and then step out of the way. You've done that not just as the way you lead worship, but the way you've led the team. Set the table and let a team arrive and let things flourish. So we honor you for that tonight. Finally, I want to invite Dr. Pete Sanchez to pray over these songs. Come on, Dr. Pete. You, you may know this, but this is the man behind the scenes here. This is the shepherd of shepherds. Dr. Pete has spent a lifetime leading worship, writing songs, teaching, pastoring. And he is the head of this team. He's the shepherd that, that watches over these songwriters, these musical shepherds. And you yourself have written a song that has spanned the decades with I Exalt Thee. So we're asking you tonight as the, I don't know, what, what do we call you? The, I heard your grandchildren called you Grandolf, like Gandalf, but like grandfather. So I, I heard that's true. So as the worship Yoda or the Grandolf of the worship ministry, would you pray a blessing on this project? Because church, here's the deal. Again, we're not after products. We're not after making stuff for people to consume. This is about giving the church all around the world songs to sing in every season. Amen? So join with us as we pray. These are God's gifts to you. These are God's gifts to you. Recently, I've been in some sacred places where time stands still because of the presence of the Lord. This is such a time. This is a sacred space because He is among us. These don't ha this doesn't happen everywhere, but it's happening here. And you must always ask why and for what reason. Why this point in history? He has gathered for you some gifts, not only for this generation, but for the next two generations. All these young people that are out here, this is going to go on and on and on and on. So would you join me as I pray and bless this team right here, these men and women who I've come to love and would give my life for. Let's pray together. Lord, you are a singer. We sing because you first sang. You've sung over your creation. The scriptures say that you sing over your church. The words we find and the melodies that we discover or that find us are part and parcel of a song you've always been singing, that you will always sing that will culminate in a new song for all of us, where we'll join together like this group. We'll be part of the writing process, part of the receiving process, and we'll join with all creation with all of heaven to say, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. There is a new song that awaits us, and every song that this team writes, every project that's released gives us a flavor and a taste of a song that's coming our way in like a grand symphony, like a grand wind that blows across the landscape. Lord, would you continue to sing over this church? When you continue to sing over this, this team, this department, these writers, would you raise up new writers that can capture the scent and the sound of the song that you've been singing? Lord, you have graced us to get a little taste of what's already going on around us. Lord, would you increase our capacity for that? And would you take these songs into every nation on the planet? Ukraine needs a new song. Russia needs a new song. Colorado Springs needs a new song. America needs a new song. Lord, use us to be the first singers of a song that can be transformational in our day, right now, in our time. Lord, we pray these things because you're a singer 
We just, we're going to chase a song. We're going to let the melody guide us. The rhythms of your grace are going to guide us through this, this time together. Now, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would continue to do for us and through men and women like st that stand behind me and, and create songs that last and endure and continue to capture generations for the glory of God. Thank you, Triune God, for singing over us for being such a singer and allowing us to hear the sounds of heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And everybody said, amen. We got one more. Y'all ready to sing some more? All right. shakes the walls Lord give us an anthem to sing from our souls a song for the vow and a song for the night oh Lord awaken the anthem hear our praise Let's make it rise now. And we sing out.
Come on. Oh, friends. All right, hey, friends. All night tonight, I've just been, I'm just so amazed. Look at this place. It's a miracle. This, the worshipers of God and the presence of God, there's nothing like it. Thank you for singing along with these songs are nothing without you. You're the secret ingredient. It's you, church. And we are a worshiping church. Pastor Brady, thank you for being a worshiper. It's all the difference. How about that choir back there? Thank you, choir. <laughs> so friends, we're gonna be done. We're a few minutes over. Um, do we have food trucks still? Are they out there? Hey, we're gonna celebrate. Um, we have some albums, some physical albums you could buy for some friends. You can download the QR code, the whole thing. Uh, listen, tonight is not a celebration of an album. It is a look what the Lord has done, right? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go put our shoes back on. Love you, New Life. See you this weekend.